Okay, got my SketchUp open and I'm just gonna show you guys how to build a, a little bitty cabin. Uh, gonna show you how to do a foundation, a uh, floor system, some wall panels and maybe build some trusses. Just to show you guys, I'm just gonna build a small uh, 16 foot by 24 foot. First thing I'm gonna delete this guy here. You just click on and hit the delete button. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm just going to do a... Now, when you're doing rectangle tools, you can you can dial in your dimensions. If you look down here, your dimensions are changing. But the way I do it, I just I just draw a little tool and then I type in my... I type it in and then it snaps to that dimension. So I'm just going to hit 10, use the foot, which is a, uh, a single... Uh, quotation mark if you use the two that means inches so just I hit 10 foot then comma 10 foot okay see how it snapped it now this is 10 foot by 10 foot as long as you're in this tool and you don't you click on anything like I can change it again like 8 foot comma comma let's say 12 foot and it changes I can you know just 14 foot comma 13 foot and it'll snap so I find that that's easier just to draw your rectangle than type in the dimensions and have it snap to it uh, anyway 10 foot comma 10 foot now you can check your dimensions by hitting the T which is the tape measure tool now I, I know a lot of the shortcuts so I use them but all your tools are up here you can select whatever you want but I, I know what tape measure tool is so I uh, use it and 10 foot by 10 foot so work work fine <clears throat> now I'm gonna draw another rectangle here and I'm gonna make it a 16 foot comma 24 foot oops I did it the wrong way so if I want it to go the other way let me hit 24 comma I'm sorry 24 foot comma 16 foot and it turned it back now I just use this 10 by 10 just to give me an offset so I can build my cabin I like building it on the offset a little bit so now I'm going to use my eraser tool I come up here to the eraser or just hit E for eraser just highlight what I don't want and it goes away pretty easy okay now I'm going to hit this uh this zoom out tool I can just go up here and click on it and it zooms it out a little bit I can hit the O tool for orbit now if you notice this tool is just right here but I know the shortcut so I didn't use that <coughs> now I'm going to use my I'm drawing a foundation now so now I'm going to use my offset tool which is F but it's right there but I know the shortcut so you I'm going to make my foundation uh, 8 foot, I'm sorry, 8 inches. So this time I just hit 8. Now I hit space bar to select that. Then I'm going to delete the middle. I'm going to hit P. I'm going to make a crawl space foundation. So I'm just going to go 48 inches. See, if I use inches, I just type 48. I don't have to put 4 then the foot. If you just hit a numbers, without any sign it automatically thinks it's inches so okay so I want to make this a component see right now I click on individual stuff I can change this or whatever but I want all this not to change I want it to stay how it is so I can just triple click then right click and hit make component so now it's as a component I can click anywhere on this and everything is selected if I want to move it or twist it or whatever I can change it around and everything moves all together but I'm gonna set it over here I want it to go back to normal so what do you do is there's a go up any, anything you do that you mess up or you want to go back you just come up here to, to edit and hit undo set undo set insert point you can click that Another way is just to hit on your keyboard, Alt, Backspace, 
and see how now I'm snapped back to where I was. Anyway, okay, so that's my foundation. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna go up here to the to the uh, paint bucket and uh, gonna find this here says asphalt and concrete. I'm gonna select this uh, concrete button click that. Now I just made it look like concrete. Okay. Now, I mean that's my 16 foot by 24 foot foundation. I want to draw my footings now. So I'm going to draw the footings. What I do is hit the O button for orbit. Go to the bottom. What Now, the way I like to do it is I use the T tool and I'll select an edge. This is a um, T for tape measure. I'm going to snap some lines that are, I'm going to go just over and I'm going to type in 16, which is 16 inches. And I'm going to, that snaps a line right here in the same plane as the, as the uh, bottom of the wall. So I'm going to click here, do the same thing, just line over till it says 8. Now I can just come over here and do it, but you just line over there and then you just type it in 16 it snapped. So now I'm going to do it here, same thing, 8 inches, 16, make this 16. I'm going to do it over here as well, 8 and 16, 16. Okay. And well, actually, I should have done it. I should have done one here, cross corners, but it's okay. I just do one more. I wasn't paying attention, but uh, do one more over here. Go here. Oops. T for tape measure. Eight, sixteen, sixteen. Okay. I shouldn't have done this one, I should have just made it here, but now I'm going to hit R for rectangle. I'm going to draw, I'm going to snap on that intersection. Come up here and then you'll see the uh, intersection change color and you click on that for rectangle. Come down here, it fills in. Now I'm going to do one more on the inside. I'm going to click the middle and delete that. Now I'm going to use my uh, push-pull tool. I'm going to pull this down to one foot. <coughs> okay. I'm going to triple click that, right click, and make this a component. So now when I click on that, I'm going to go up here to edit where it says delete guides and I just delete the guides. Okay, so that's my footing. I'm going to use the, the orbit tool rotate around okay you guys can kind of see uh, the foundation I'm gonna make this color the same so I'm gonna select my footing go up to the paint bucket and more concrete okay All right. that's how you draw a simple foundation That'll be the uh, the end of my first video. Next one will be on how to draw a floor system. <laughs>